graduate. We ain't seen from this bitch about to be famous with a newscast. Each and every last one of us. Famous. On the news. Famous. I just so happened to have it in my book bag. I don't know if you know any sports bankers that are sad. Cool. Cool. But I think I, I went in and did it over. Well, we can change that. Hey, y'all, come watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to get an invitation? Yeah, I got to get one. I know, but I was going to do You just decided. I'm pretty angry. You don't want to talk to you. Can you find the one that Rolling and recording. Are we taking it from the very beginning? Rolling and recording. Okay. Right here. Yeah. They're facing. As education seems to be one of the top issues on the Senate's list. The new higher one debit card issued here on the campus of ASU is questionable for some of the students. With the campus recently being criticized of accusations of money losses, they have decided to use a new system to create more financial options for students. The new Horn and One card resulted from the collaboration of Higher One and ASU. The card serves as multiple purposes, which includes a black strip on campus use and a silver strip for debit card use. Anthony Fleming, computer analyst with the IT department, describes the Hornet One card in deeper details. Despite the card being a great use for students on campus, it also serves well for students off campus because of its functions as a debit card. Only time will tell now how effective this venture will pan out for the campus and students. Well, ASU seems to have more than just financial concerns as campus safety becomes an issue. And new beginnings for Fuego Hookah Lounge may not be as inviting as the community speaks out. New at noon today, local business owner Tahid Ramani of Fuego Hookah Lounge is facing problems with getting a liquor license due to the city of Montgomery and protesters. Well, there seems to be a lot of buzz going on with the many projects ASU is taking on. The College of Business Administration is packing up and heading downtown. The College of Business, also known as COBA, will be moving offices downtown to 32 Commerce Street to allow students a chance to interact with local businesses. Dr. Lakuta Booth, Dean of COBA, says not all students in offices will be downtown. Dr. Booth also says COBA moving downtown will open up new opportunities for the students. The College of Business plans to be in office downtown at the beginning of next year. ASU's different colleges are definitely heading in the right direction. 
The College of Health Sciences have teamed up with Brubaker Tech Magnet School to offer students new educational programs. ASU News Now reporter Eric Knox has the story. I agree, ASU is heading in the right direction, but the safety of the students is one that can't be overlooked. ASU News Now reporter April McLemore has the details. We'll hear from the Lady Hornets as they hold the Volleyball SWAC Championship title. And coming up, we get a closer look at ASU's football team preparing for the upcoming season and spring training. Jamon Craig and Cedric Cotton with sports highlights when we return. Pause it. So, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead. Yeah. Well, then they record.
Yeah. Roll. Roll the number four. Practice and preparation always count. The NSU football team is spring training over. I'm Cedric Cotton. And I'm Jamal Craig. The Lady Hornets are now recovering from what has been one of their strongest seasons. Last year was a good year for the ASU Lady Hornets volleyball team, winning their first ever SWAC championship, and they earned a place in the NCAA tournament. The Lady Hornets head coach, Penny Lucas White, says it was a tough task holding everything together during the final play of the championship game. Coach White says off-season workouts will be their key factor for the upcoming season, and middle blocker Amber Bennett says they'll keep momentum by picking up where they left off last season. The Lady Hornets will begin spring training in March, and they will also host the tournament. Well, the season has definitely rolled back around, and the sun is out, and so are the Hornets football players. They are gearing up for next season with spring training. Number six, Damon Love plays guard and center. And he's prepared for the upcoming season of Tom Hardy Gym and showing new players the ropes of ASU football. Other players on the team, like number 99, Edward Mosley, who plays deep the end, is also working hard towards the SWAT championship. Although he made the all SWAT team as number two in the conference, this year he hopes to be number one. While players are putting in the extra work, coaches are also working around the clock to make this season better than last. Like all sports teams striving to be number one, ASU hopes to. I'm oh, sorry. You need to slow down. I'm going to first. You can breathe. Yeah, do you mind slow down too a little bit? Well, he's slow down too. Slow down. 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 Slow down
education seems to be one of the top issues on the Senate's list. The new higher one debit card issued here on the campus of ASU is questionable for some of the students. On the Senate's list, the new higher one debit card issued here on the campus of ASU is questionable for some of the students. With the campus recently being criticized of accusations of money losses, they have decided to use a new